Welcome back to Lana's Little Things. Can't get myself even here. Lana's Little Things with me, Dr. Lana, specialist gerontologist. Welcome back, everyone. And we are talking on ageless living tonight. Now, I know on this channel, we speak about ageless living, yes, bridging generational gaps, entrepreneurship, life itself, and of course, my uh, pet people. Care, care providers, as I am myself, but specifically family caregivers. Put your oxygen mask off, take your super cape off, at least at once. One time or the other. But aging is not a disease. If I had a dollar for every time I said that, hmm. Anyway, you guys know me well. So, without further ado, I want to talk about, again, an aspect of ageless living. And it came from a book. Well, an introduction to a book that I saw, uh, this, this author who is um, Maddie, M-A-D-D-Y, and I have to get her, her book. <laughs> so it's Lifelong Maddie Dictwald. I'll leave it in the bottom below. It's basically defying the myth of aging, right? And she's an older person, beautiful person. Age less aging, a woman's guide to increasing health span, brain span, life span. Who we want that? Who can say no to that? By different identification marks of what we can do, how we can view the aging process. And we're all aging, yes. But they, so I recommend that book highly. But in my research as well, let's deal with some practical aspects of it so that it's not just this another hoo-ha, hoopla, well, you know, aging, never mind that, we can get through that, we're just in denial, no. We spoke about po toxic positivity last week and I wondered if you had any tidbits on that. Have you been able to adjust your mindset or think, hmm, is positive Toxic positivity, the boom, 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 everything's all right all the time and we have nothing and anything else is denial. No, no. Have you had any insights into how that affects your real world scenario and the ways that you can improve and balance both reality from positivity without it becoming a place of shame, so we say. So without further ado. The, type, the, the discussion that I'd love to get into with you right now is thinking of older persons and the need for health promotion. Now, there are three topics which I thought you'd find fascinating. I did. Starting from ages, the trajectory after age 65, shall we? And that's been talked about as successful, usual, and accelerated. So from age 65 onward, Successful aging from then means essentially, even if you have an ailment or two, let's say you have a medical illness, let's say you have high blood pressure, diabetes, you may have a bit of arthritis, I mean, kind of like who does it, but you're still active, you're maintaining your lifestyle, you may be able to drive or not, or you can still go to the, the, the do your daily activities, as well as do some tennis in between, you can walk, you can run, you're in your garden all day, no one can test you or meet you in the garden because you are so knowledgeable on that and you're active and you come out and you're great. So there's that. The next bit is usual aging. So you may have one or two illnesses, and two medical concerns, they're not illnesses. Two medical concerns. You may not be as active as before, but you can still certainly get along, call your friends, do your things, live life, as I always say. And you may need one or two little bits of assistance from family members. But all in all, you remember things. Do we all measure all? Do we all remember our car keys every single time? If you do, put your hand up. Uh uh, not me. I forgot my car keys up to this this week and they were right in front of me. Who knew? But this happens to us all. So 
if you're having a few more memory things, but you can memory impairments, but you can still essentially manage. You can use your own pill box. You're still getting out. You're still managing yourself. You're still being able to take care of your daily activities care, even with assistance. That is okay. What about accelerated aging now? That, and there's there an age limit for usual aging? No, it really varies with so many persons. So 60, 70, 75 and over, maybe into 85, which we can tend to call the oldest, the, the older persons. So there's young old, which is the 65 to 70s, the older old, and then the oldest old. That's over 85 and going into, right? 85 and above, it's just like really going into it. What about that? Or are there people who have just accelerated and you think, well, this person is 70, but their age and their stage and their health and their outlook, their mental outlook, their activity levels, whether they engage with their community or not, are they isolated? Are they feeling um, not part of the society anymore? Is there community interaction? This person that you saw, I know this has happened to me this week, that you saw, or even friends sometimes. Uh, and I'm in, you know, nowhere near that bracket. But friends that you saw, and you're thinking, is that the person I knew? What about you older ones? You you feel good. You're in your 80s and 90s, and you see a friend from school, or you see someone who is younger than you, and you think, that person, what, what, what did they do? Yes, there is something to be said for age not just being a number. We've said that before. Not just the passage of the sands of time from one to whenever, but also the quality. We know that. But how do we then view this in an ageless mindset? I do always recommend that you get your assessment from your medical doctor, but it has to do with not just mindset. Are you living in that beautiful mindset of not denial, but ageless living. Aging is not a disease. It is a process. Are you working with your process? Well, then you can be considered successful aging. Are you having a few little bits, but your diet, lifestyle, activity, interaction, is really good. You can read a book or you can listen. You may not be able to walk a marathon, but you can go out in your patio and maybe walk around your house. Even if you can't do that, you can walk around your dining table. If you can't do that, you can exercise in bed. But your mindset is similar, positive. Then you will be considered the usual aging or still pretty good to me. What about those of you, whatever your age, and you are thinking, well, you know what? It's done for. There's nothing I can exercise, no matter what person say to them. They are completely isolated, completely feeling alone, dejected, despondent. Nothing works. You know those. Sometimes you might, we might feel like that our, ourselves. Oh, nothing is working. But sometimes you talk to an older person and there is nothing good coming out of their brains. There is no, there's nothing you can say that gives the switch from, oh, this can be done to, no, nothing can be done. What then? Yes, each person has their, his or her own mind. And I'm, my convictions are that what the, the Bible has to say is so true because it's a book of practical wisdom. It always says, you know, if you're showing yourself discouraged, when you really need it, when you really need to access and call on that, you will have the power. When we really need each other, we need the community. Community is key. Community is so key. So what, what are we going to be doing with that? I'm just urging you, whether you are 60, 70, 90, you can still fall into the category of successful aging. There are a few things here and there that need a little spraying, you know. There are a few considerations that medical conditions that may need to be treated. 
police you're not to talk about it. But the most important, the most important medication that we all need, and especially as you get older, and you may feel as though things are slipping by, is this right here. The mindset. And this right here, prayer to your higher power, the one you can't do this on your own. You are not designed to be by your own ourselves. Reach out to your higher power. Reach out, pray, ask for guidance. And then reach out in another way and ask for community. Those of you who are in a family where you're bridging gaps, those of you who have a caregiver in your family, sit and discuss. We're missing the interaction. Sit and discuss, please. And then tell the truth. Be open, be, be vulnerable. Just open your heart and say, here's how I feel. I feel afraid because I feel uncertain. I feel I'm not certain of where my life is going next. I don't know how to manage. Or you feel to manage, but you want a little help somewhere else. Or if you're a caregiver or you're working and you have to deal with, and you're dealing with a spouse or a family friend, an older person who's really not doing so well, Then what? Talk. Communicate. No one. We were not meant to be in little cubicles. I was looking for a cubicle. We were not meant to be in cubicles. We were meant to be interacting. A problem shared, a problem had. What I'll do is one of the most beautiful things I've always found to work for me. My friends know me by it best. If I've never said it here before, Give a hug and a hug that comes from the heart. The next time you see someone who looks like they can do with a hug, even if it's practical advice, physicians, those who are in healthcare, just the, the importance of human touch. If you can go more than that, a hug, a touch nearby their face, a touch with your words. So that person's know they're not alone. So the aging, living agelessly, having its own its own twist on living agelessly. No one belongs in a box. Whatever your age group, we can all make it together. From my heart to yours, Dr. Lana saying, signing out and saying, here's the ageless living. Well, if I had a cut, but, you know, here's the ageless living. Here's the gaps and bridging. Here's the love. Here's the longevity of mind and heart and spirit and here's to life itself Mwah. wherever you are love this to chat with you sign up for and if you found this was helpful share it with a friend sign up on my things.com so many more things are coming and on the website i'll leave that in the description below and have a look read a book today hug a friend you know how it is we all need a hug Bye-bye.